Hi, I'm Blake McGowan and I'm a certified professional ergonomist with Human Tech. One of the topics I get asked about a lot is manual material handling and lifting. And there's a particular question I get asked a lot, and that is what is the proper lifting techniques? Well, since the 1970s, the answer to that question has been debated a lot. And finally, we may have some clarification. Well, in 2016, a group of researchers from Germany use some very new technology, in vivo technology, to measure the actual spinal forces during both squat and stoop lifting. Basically, what they were able to do is surgically implant strain gauges inside the spine. So, what did they find? Well, first, they found that lifting heavy objects from the ground still result in significant loads on the spine, independent if it is a squat or a stoop lift. Second, both of the forces, or the forces for both of those tasks, are significantly high and pretty much the same. And if we want to be technical about it, the forces on the spine are actually 4% greater for squat lifting compared to stoop lifting. And this is really good news because it supports a review in 1999 that took a look at all the different research out there and basically came up with the same result. So what does this all mean? What's the bottom line? Well, first, lifting heavy objects from the ground is still a risky task and produces a lot of forces on the spine, independent if it is a squat or a stoop lift. Second, engineering controls that elevate the object or reduce the weight of the object is still the best way to reduce the risk. And finally, teaching people the proper lifting techniques or providing them with some type of wearable to teach them how to lift really doesn't do much to reduce the forces on the spine. So that's the bottom line.